Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophin at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Prey. I'm really, really getting into this. Uh, we're just done with the hardware labs where we just fixed the hey, server everyone, connection. Our resident counselor, Dr. Cole, would like to encourage anyone experiencing symptoms okay. of disturbed sleep, chronic stress, or anxiety to schedule an appointment in the trauma center. Okay, th thank you, robot lady. So we finished the hardware labs to just fix the connection to the server of the looking glass. So we can now just uh, look at the rest of the video in our office. I'm going to assume... Oh, yep. That's a purple phantom. I could probably just throw this explosive at it. There we go. Whoa! Jesus Christ! Ow! That was through the wall, buddy. There we go. Oh, that actually hurts. Um, okay. That left a spot that actually hurt, but... Typhon organ, spare parts, EMP charge, and a corroded coil. That's not bad for a first enemy of the day. And I did throw an explosive at its face first. So that was more than a clip, so that thing was definitely a lot stronger than the other phantoms. So I'm just going to eat a few bananas. You know what, first a coffee. For me it's morning, so let's just drink up. There we go. I'm going to let the health regeneration do its work while we're going through this. Because I'm guessing they've added a few enemies. That's not going to be the only enemy that's in here. I did make a lot of noise though, so I'm assuming... There's not another Mimic, although... Oh god! Oh, what the hell is that? Um... No... I definitely broke the turret. Can I repair it with my current skills? Nope. Nope, 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 nope. I'm just trying to make a few walls with blocks the entrance but oh god there it is again jesus christ this thing is fast god damn you uh where'd it go There we go. That took a few hits. It gave us a bit, bit of bullets as well, though. Uh, I've been in here, right? Yeah, I've been in here. Don't need to be here again. So let's see. I need one more Neuro mod to actually get uh, to repairing this. I can't carry it, though, because it's been moved. So it's supposed to be here. But I can't repair it, and I'm assuming there's no more Neuro Molds. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! No! Die! Holy crap, this thing takes a lot of bullets now. 9mm bullets. Okay. Eat another banana. I'm gonna be able to use all of my uh, healing items now. Which is fine. Which is fine. Didn't expect another one to be just sitting right next to the door there. Okay, a little bit on edge. I did just say I, I was really starting to lag the game, but... Um, the Typhon clearly are spreading out uh, into the rooms. Which is no good. But, I'm assuming I'm kind of safe in here, even though one of those mimics just ran in here. Um, do I need to recycle anything? I don't think so. I can't really fabricate anything either. Although, you know what? I need some more bullets. I need, clearly need some more bullets. So 9mm bullets. I have plenty of resources. So place ingredients and create. Woobity woobity woobity. And there we go. Over 100 bullets again. Should be fine for now. Now. Uh, utilities. Resume. There we go. Loading the video. Uh, give me, give me a second. I need, I need to drink some more tea. 
There we go. Let's drink some tea. You're not going to like what I have to say next. You have to destroy Talos One. The research, the Typhon, nothing can survive. Including you. I know how it sounds, but you've seen what those creatures can do. They're a part of you now. If even one cell gets back to Earth, we're lost. I'm sorry. I wish there was another way. January can walk you through activating the self-destruct mechanism. Alex will try to stop you. He's allergic to failure. Too proud to go back to mom and dad with his tail between his legs. So, it's up to you now. Good luck. Well, as far Come as I... Like yeah, as far as I understand it, he wouldn't be able to... Um, go back to mommy. With his tail between his legs. Through the looking glass. There we go. And... Oh! Hello, January. In the, the metal flesh, kinda. Hello, Morgan. I'm January 2035. I'm an operator. There are many operators aboard Telos One, but none of them are like me. Okay, let's have a little chat then. I'm your plan B. My first task was to free you from the simulation. Second task was to make sure you saw your video. Those are done. Interesting. New directives are now available to me. The self-destruct protocol for Talos One is activated by two arming keys. Your brother has the first. You had the second. Alex destroyed your arming key, but you hid a fabrication plan for a new one in deep storage. That's where you'll need to go next. We can worry about getting Alex's key afterwards. The Typhon are spreading fast, Morgan. You'll be racing against them and your brother. This key card will grant you access to the main lift and all the labs. The main lift is the fastest way to reach deep storage. Okay. She, it even has a tag on the side just marking it as uh, January. There we go. General access. Next topic. You asked me to provide you with more neuromods, which I've done. Good luck, Morgan. Oh. The security station in the lobby might have weapons. Okay, that also sounds great. So the security station is probably our next stop. Because that's going to get us the shotgun, I'm assuming. Uh, and then the Neuromod is great. Because that allows us to actually get into repair 2. There we go. Increase efficiency with spare parts and suit patch kits. Acquire. There we go. And that was just one extra Neuromod we got there. So not a biggie. Can we actually go through this? Yeah, we can. Uh, I think. I think. Hello. Huh. He kind of, she kind of crouched there, but apparently not. That's probably a way for the mimics to get out of the office. Just get this going. There we go. Turret up and running. Good. Really good little turret of mine. Just gonna clear the hallway a bit so we have better sidelines. And then I'm assuming we can get down again. Because there's a lot of areas we haven't really checked yet. Oh god, there's more purple typhoon. Okay, I'm gonna have some one more tea before we head down. Uh, trauma center, that's also gonna be handy, right? Trauma center. Bleep bloop. Okay. Uh, so there's two of those ashtray things. Okay, the frame rate kind of went down when I did that, but apparently that's no mimic. I do hear some. Taking the apple. Taking the apple. Anna Goldcrest. So let's get, take the test tube sample. The tracking bracelet of Sylvain Bellamy. That's interesting. Don't know why we would need that, but maybe it's a quest item for, of some sorts. And we have another... Huh. That's another list of crew members, but it's smaller than the other one, I think. So, I've seen in the trophy list that these guys should also be all on the ship. And we get the check mark if we found the corpse. Um, and if you find every single one of these, we get a trophy. So, if we get a check mark next to everyone, you can use these uh, terminals. Just start looking for anyone if you want to. 
uh, especially since there are a lot of people still alive. Well, a few people still alive. It's about, it's about 10% if you look at it. Ooh, that's good. Or is that just the general? Nope. They're marked per two. System alert. Repairs needed. Uh, and we can check the emails here as well. Weird, I can't pull those records up. They're not in the system. Let's start down. Who is the NSP being administered to? Inventory shows a case of the booster shots are missing. Sorry, should have informed you. NSP shot was for Chief Ilyushin. Mild physiognomic fatigue. Should have logged it. Attention. Station uh, leadership has issued an Alessandro, alert. please All come see me. And transfer their charts and family records. Hmm. So I feel like... Regina was actually using those booster shots herself. Incoming casualties. Attention all security officers in trauma. You have multiple people en route, en route with injuries as well as a possible fatality. One of them is Dr. Sylvain Bellamy. Do not take him to the trauma center. He must be taken to psychotronics. This is an extremely grave security and health issue. I repeat, do not admit Dr. Sylvain Bellamy to the trauma center. Alex Yu. So that's interesting because of course... We found this tracking bracelet here. So they might have brought them here anyway. And that's the map. Okay. Of level 2. That's come, gonna come in handy. But I feel... Yeah. January said that she... Was responsible for us getting out of the simulation. But the problem with that... Is that we got out of the simulation because of the Typhoon attack. Which makes me think that... She's actually responsible for the Typhon attack. It's definitely something here. Hendrik de Vries, chief surgeon. Oh god. What happens if I blow that up from here? Because that's a fire Typhon. There we go, that's a second explosion. Oh god. Oh wow. It did hit me with one of those fire blasts. So let's use a medkit. Maybe two medkits even. And the apple and tea. Okay, there we go. So multiple explosions are handy if you can get them off. And I feel like this guy wouldn't even take a hit from normal fire damage. So that would have been a waste. Okay. Seems like that was the big bad of this area. More spare parts and corroded oil. Okay, okay, okay. Can't open this up. So probably should check the main area first. Biohazard waste. Biohazard waste. And Lucia Jimenez. Another corpse. There doesn't seem to be anything in this room. There is something over there. I think it's one of those psycho injection thingies. Quarantine, but it's unlocked. It's peculiar. That's the Psy Hypo I just saw through the window, but otherwise. <laughs> no, stop talking. Okay, that was more than a bit creepy. Subject Trevor Young. Subject appears disorientated, paranoid, not sure how much of current behavior is due to the incident versus his recent neuromod removals. Recommend continued observation, Matthias Cole. So where is he? Trevor Young, mind controlled. Ooh. I do want to try to not kill anybody. So... Ooh, banana pudding. Sai Hypo. So since he's freaking out, I'm gonna keep his door closed because he's mind controlled and I don't know how to fix mind control just yet. Why do you keep biohazard waste in the lockers? But the med kit is nice. Expired plasma bag. Oh, I'm full. Crap. Suit repair kits. Wait. Don't I have. Ah, I'm out of suit repair kits. Okay. Well, full on my, uh, I can only keep 10 in one slot, which is great because I needed to use one anyway. 
And now we have another corpse. Everything seems fine here. Looter glass. I don't have space for another suit. Ah, and there's another neuro mold in here. Hmm. There's another note here from Gustav Leitner. Patient tested positive for non-small cell lung cancer. Patient did not list any ailments on their submission form prior to being taken to the skill recorder. Contact this patient immediately. If patient is still in Talos 1, have him report to the trauma center as soon as possible. The fire is disturbing, but that's probably because of the fire typhoon that was walking around here. Um, and what's this? Request operator. Probably don't need to do that. Um, where am I going to throw this? I think over here is going to be fine. But let's drop a bunch of things and take a bit of a distance. Maybe quick save. Because I don't want to have it happen again that I recycle myself. But there we go. There we go. Materials for everyone. So there's one more room here, pharmaceutical, which is probably, yeah, no matching key card, so I can't really go in there. Uh, which means that I should probably just exit right now, because there's nothing else for me here. So that means we can go back down, because the staff lounge I can't really enter, unless I... Maybe I can whack that away? Oh, wait, what was that? I do get prompt sometimes that I don't really understand, but... Ooh, wait, can I? Ooh. Yes, I am sneaky. I know there's at least one more phantom, the blue phantom type thing, over there. But... What is this? Ow! Mother fucker. I knew it was one, but the stealth really doesn't help. Okay, so there's security... Aha, uh -huh. IT security, do I have the code of this? No. Great. Let's go through the staff lounge. Okay, there's definitely something on the left there. And... Ow, for fuck's sake. Die. I mean, they're just jumping out at me without me being able to do anything about that, are they? Yeah, okay. There we go. Okay, wasted a bunch of bullets on that again. But it's all okay. It's all okay, I have plenty of bullets. No need to be stingy with them. But if you're quiet enough, they actually usually make a noise. I've shot basic- Oh, for fuck's sake! Ah, I should shut up, because not, not of, nothing of what I'm saying is true. They usually make a noise before they do that, but only not always. That was fast enough. Jesus Christ, this place is filled with them. I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to heal. Just D for now. Just D for now. And there is... A, is that a fabricator? No, it's a recycler. I'm not gonna ask questions about why there's a recycler in here. There we go. I'm getting rid of all those crazy mugs. They're all in twos. And I'm gonna take a beer, but there's plenty of food here, which is good. There's a note on the side, though. Wait. Any unlabeled food will be thrown out Friday. Okay. Uh, let's eat those. And let's eat those. That should get us to full health almost completely. Uh, so it was kind of worth it. They got a bunch of food out of this. Ooh, there's a lot of food in here, actually. I mean, I've had big bag candy before. I know there's a trophy to eat every single type of food in the game. I mean, I'm not called trophy nut for nothing, am I? So that's still closed. Okay, so what's the use of this area aside from the food? Nothing, probably. Just the food. Uh, there is a recycler here, so I could just recycle what I have. Dump the junk, recycle it. And get all of that out here. And yeah, there's no... There's no fabricator here, so I can't really make extra bullets if I want to. But at least we checked out this area as well, and we found Randolph. Randolph Hutchinson. Also dead. 
Now, I'm assuming I can do the same thing on the other side. So that's probably close, because that's the IT department. I haven't really seen a code for that just yet. But there is the sofa and tape driver. That would allow us to get into that room. But I can't just yet. And we haven't been up here yet either. So this is maintenance access only. Oh god. Um, I'm gonna keep my eye on the explosive canisters. I can see the IT department below. This seems to be fine for now, but if this explodes, I'm a goner. Ah, oh, gold. Oh god. I think I, I think I made an oopsie. Wait, wait, I'm gonna fix that. There we go. Okay, that was weird because there wasn't a copy of that close by, was it? Was there? I don't think there was. More spare parts, and then this allows me access to I don't know what this is. I'm not gonna whack an explosive canister, am I? Huh. Oh. This is the other side of the looking glass. But how does that help me, aside from me knowing that this is here now? I don't really see a way forward, so... That's fine. I'll do, I do know now that there's something behind the glass. So if I need to get out, that's a way to do so. And there's a phantom in the, in the IT department, of, because of course there is. Can I actually smack this glass? Oh god, I can. Okay, so that means I can actually get a drop on this phantom. Um. So that's one. I think there's another one. Ow. Switch. Switch weapons. Is it dead? I think it is. Okay. Whew. So at least I'm gonna get use out of those food items I just picked up. Just start with the singular ones. There we go. There we go. Ah, there it is. A no wave transmitter. What is that supposed to be? Developed in psychotronics, the no wave transmitter emits a burst of signals which suppress the psionic abilities of anyone caught in the blast for a short period of time. It can be thrown or affixed to stationary objects using R2. Okay. So can we use that to get rid of uh, mind control as well then? Just gonna eat some more food. Maybe I should just eat multiples because I don't know how it stacks. And that should get us to full rather quickly. Okay, I'm starting to run out of bullets, though. What says security office keycard? That sounds great. So that would have allowed me to get into the security... Although, this might be the security office of the IT department. Is it this thing? IT supply closet. No. Clearance required beyond this point. So this is... It's probably on the corpse of one of the, one of the IT guys. If I could find one of those guys, it's probably... Allows me to get out, but... Ah, and that's that door, okay. So that loops around. And this is the office of Steve... Steve Folson, Lobby IT tech. Oh, there's more uh, tea and coffee. Which is always nice. So that opens that back up. And then we're back in the hallway. Was there another side to this thing? I think there was, right? So we had the maintenance side, which we just used to get into the IT department. And now we have the sales division. Also unlockable by general access. Wait, did we go in here already? So we've seen this already. I think we've seen the sales department already. Because it looks familiar. I think this is where we found a few neuro mods already. And I think I smashed all those windows. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we've been here. 
Yeah, okay, let's just go down. Okay, back in the main lobby. We know there's at least one phantom here. Because we saw him walking around. But of course, new mimics might also have spawned. Which is also not good. So I don't know how far I've been in here. Because I feel like this is blocked off while it shouldn't be. There we go. There's definitely somebody in here who locked herself in with the glue cannon. But of course, how did she die or he die? Martin. So let's grab all this. Martin Giroux. More bullets and shotgun shells. But we did get a keycard to the security office. Where is the security office, by the way? Should probably check the map because I do have a map. Okay, so the security station is on the other side of the lobby at the same floor I'm at at the moment. So that's going to come in handy. Just going to quickly check the toilets for any useful items. Although I would think that, yeah, it's not going to be that useful, is it? And I'm going to get rid of that second glue cannon. Uh, menu, dismantle. There you go. We get that. So if we, our next two neuro mods are going to go into, you know, getting uh, our suit upgraded so we can have more inventory slots. Which of course is going to give us the age old problem that it's just going to continuously not have enough space for everything. So the phantom over there is damaged because of the turret probably. But I can actually repair the turret if I want to. Uh, there we go. Let's repair it. And then the next time that phantom rolls around. Oh. Um, deploy. Oh god. Bring it over here. Yeah, okay, the third killed it. Holy shit. That was uh awesome. Why does the why does the monster have cookies? And the third is damaged again, but I can probably ah fortify is repair tree. Okay, fair enough. But he did kill the, the phantom there. That thing is quick. Holy hell that thing is quick. The security office is supposed to be there. So security over there. Security over there. Gonna slowly move around a bit. Because I don't want to trigger anything. But I do want to check for crumpled paper. Because of course, we can never have enough crumpled paper. It's probably the worst thing to have. And I got flowers. Flowers. Flowers also very important. Just imagine I find a nice guy. I want to impress him with a nice bit of flowers. God damn it, what am I doing here? This can't be a mimic because it's not the same box. I can unlock the security office with the key card I found in the IT department. And there's a lot of blood around here. So that's no good, is it? Character sheets. Oh! They were playing Dungeons and Dragons. That's awesome. Elias Black. What's with the creepy music all of a sudden? I don't think they're supposed to be... Creepy music, right? Let's check the emails. Help, help, help. Now, Elias, anyone, please help. Help, Nils again. This is not a hoax. Life or death, please help. Please help us, please. Help, this is Nils. We're trapped in the shuttle bay. Set up a reoccurring task for setting Morgan's key pot. We're getting code change requests every month. It's the same pattern. Morgan asks us what the current code is. Asks us if it was requested or if we choose it. Chose it and asked if for a new one. It's unusual. Last time she asked, I was right there. So I told her the code and she gave me a blank look. A code we'd set less than a week ago. Maybe she's testing our response time. So it's becoming really clear that people didn't realize that uh, we were being reset every day. So that was kept secret from the other employees. Which I don't know why they would do that. Oh god. I'm gonna have to drop some crumpled paper, am I? There we go. I, ha I have enough space. Auto sort. Oh, come on, come on. Auto sort. There we go. 
And then where did it go? There's the weapon upgrade kit. And now we can use that on our pistol maybe. I think the range might not be bad to upgrade that a bit. Or the accuracy. Let's get the accuracy a boost. There we go, accuracy increased. Then we have a safe. Wait, was that what I think it was? Oh my god, there's a shotgun. Um, I think I dropped the flowers right next to the shotgun, so let's take that. This is good. I should have probably used the weapon kit, the weapon upgrade kit on the shotgun then. But yeah, things to worry about later on. Do I have the code for this thing? I do not, but maybe there's a hint on the terminal. This is four emails and I have a shotgun. Um, I think I might actually swap out the wrench. Yeah, you know what? Let's swap out the wrench for the shotgun. Uh, so assign to the right side. There we go. Shotgun, pistol, and the glue gun. Emails. Need security escort. I know you probably have your hands full right now, but we need you to send a security detail to detain Dimitri Bowser. He witnessed the incident and he's pretty shaken. We're just not sure how stable he is at the moment. Make an assessment and hold him indefinitely if necessary. Use discretion. Something's on the station. Ma'am, you know I went to the doctor about sleep and all that. I got pills, but still been seeing things. After game night, I was cleaning up and a chair moved by itself. I'm not crazy like you know who. I'm sending this call just because just after the alert, I heard something in the vent over security. I thought I saw something black up there. We need to check this out because I'm starting to think there's something on the station that we don't know about. Security officer Elias Black. Ilyushin, please add Michaela Ilyushin to the watch list. While she's currently performing her duties, her condition makes for a potential security risk and we may need leverage. Her access should be restricted to work and crew facilities. Please don't let her anywhere near the labs. Also flag any communications between her and Dr. Gallegos out of Psychotronics. Medical is beginning to suspect she has white noise, so the fact she falsified her records may be enough. Normally I'd advocate neuromult removal, but her condition prevents this. Keep me apprised. Alex. Alex is a dick! Missing keycard, Sarah, I need your help tracking down a missing keycard. This should be one of your highest priorities. It's labeled EP101. Let me know as soon as you find anything. And there's a note here. Dimitri is being held like you asked. He knew the door code, so I changed it to 1129. Okay. So that's to the holding room. The holding room is that thing, I'm assuming. I'm gonna have to be careful, because if Dimitri is still in there, I don't really want to kill anyone. Okay, I think Dimitri is, although it's black, black and blue. Black and blue means, oh God. Did that mimic just a, what? That mimic just mimicked the corpse. I have goosebumps right now. That was ridiculous. Why do I keep getting that noise every time I enter this room? Oh, the real corpse is done. Oh no. He was mimicking the chair that this, the corpse was on. Oh, my heart. There went my heart. Let's take the note. Miss Elazar, I don't know what I saw, but I was just trying to do my job. Now I worry I might not get a chance to talk to you, so I'm writing this. I don't recall the last time I was scared, but what happened in Sim, I can't get it out of my head. Whatever is happening, I want to help, not sit here in this room. I'm starting to feel like people on station haven't been shooting straight. Like, what do they actually do in Psychotronics? No one I talked to goes in there, and Yuri Kimura, Kimura has unnumbered neuromolds in her office that I thought you should know about. Yuri has unnumbered neuromolds in her office, okay. Where the hell is Yuri's office? I need to get in there. Seems like we're doing... Fine for now, the boxes seem all the same as well, so let's just head out. So we've seen the exhibit, we've seen the security office, so I think it's high time we get to the main lift, so the main elevator, which is the, the big one in the middle, I suppose. The third is still at the same health level, so that's fine. I'm just keeping the gun, because I don't want to be surprised. I don't know if I ever went to the left there. I don't know if I even should go to the left there. Because there might be more monsters. I think I did try, but it was locked off. But now that I have general access, I might be able to get in here. There we go. Um. Attention. 
Station leadership has issued an alert. All personnel should report to muster stations immediately and await further instructions. Door override, release secure. So that's probably talking about that thing in the corner there. That's another note. Elias, you left your character sheet on the printer. Don't forget we moved to game, the game to the rec center in crew facilities. And it's an hour later than usual. Do us a favor and take a happy pill before showing up. See you there. Okay, there's one email. Turns out Yuri Kimura is like everyone else. I'll tell you over lunch. But that's the guy. Dimitri is the guy they wanted to detain. Because of what he tells. saw. The time is now huh. 12 p.m. Can't even check that. And this door is openable with... Okay. Psychotronics. Hello, Martin. It's time we spoke. My code name is December. My purpose is to help you escape Talos 1. I know your memory is shot full of holes, but you left instructions that the Typhon should break containment. Alex has a private escape pod. You made a copy of his launch key and hid it in the Neuromod division, along with the supply cache. I'll transmit the location to your map. I'll contact you again when you have the key. Okay, so we have December now as well. And I'm assuming December is a Typhon controlled um, operator. Because of course... Okay. Because the Typhon don't want us to, to just blow up the ship. Uh, can I repair this thing? Repair. Repair, 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 repair. There we go. So we fixed that. And there's a recycler here as well in need of repairs. Which is good. There we go. Let's just repair that with five parts. And we're here. So we saw this from the other side. The psychomold division. Of the neuromold division. So there should be neuromolds in here, right? Psychotronics? That sounds like something we could... Uh, get use out of because again we're running out of inventory space we're really running out of inventory space so if we can get some neuro mods here that would be nice i have a lot of shotgun mods uh shotgun shells oh oh what the hell i didn't do that that's wait okay i see did you already know about the main lift it's malfunctioning. I'm not sure why, but the car is stuck at the top. There's another route through the psychotronics lab. Morgan, that lab is where the Typhon broke containment. Please be careful. First they give us pop guns, put us on babysitting duty, then open the gates of hell and lock us in. Tronstar's going to need an army of lawyers when I get Earthside. Anyone else on the station, get to a safe area. Check your surroundings. Walls, floor, ceiling, then seal yourself in. We're working on the problem and we'll be there to retrieve you as soon as we can. Elazar out. Okay, so she's definitely still alive. And what's more is that we accidentally went to the correct area apparently because the elevator of course is broken as it usually is. So I'm actually wondering, how far down is this thing now? Because if I can grab... Well, toss this in its face. I'm just gonna quick save really quickly. Because if I wanna do this... I'm gonna have to aim correctly. And there's another one on the stairs, so... I can just j run up. Pick up another one. Just get over here, you big baby. Oh god. That was probably not my best idea. Whoa! There we go. It didn't really want to attack me, apparently. And that's going to stay there for a second. So I'm just going to eat something while we're at it. Maybe two bananas. Two bananas, always nice. And reload. That was okay. I really got hit aside from my own explosion there. And that's all that. Okay. So another corpse, which is, was kind of defending like I feel like it was doing. Kind of looking after it. I'm just going to check behind here because of course frayed wires. And frayed wires means metal and metal means bullets. So metal seems to be the most precious resource. At least to me it is. Because bullets means death. To other 
people, well, things. Joel Weeks. Another corpse to check off our list. And then we have Psychotronics, which you can unlock. So let's head in there. Access the guts. Okay. Just gonna take a quick look. What the hell was that? I think I just saw my own pants. Okay. I could probably repair that, right? Psychotronics is the opposite of safe, Morgan. What are you after? Someone's helping you. Is it Michaela? Elazar? I can eavesdrop on your brother's messages. We're in agreement on this one. Get through this place fast as possible. You're looking for a maintenance airlock to a utility tunnel called the Guts. It'll take you all the way to the top of the station. So we have two opposing voices now. So December is saying just leave the Alex, our brother has an escape pod, and we can just use that to leave the station. And January is wanting us to destroy the entire station. Which is uh, very opposite to one another, but uh, I haven't made up my mind yet what we're going to do. So we'll see that later on. Uh, but that, I'm going to take a little break as I've been going for an hour already. So uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't forget to maybe like this video right here in the comment section down below. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Prey. Thank you guys enormously for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.